Vocal hygiene tips for teachers Your vocal cords are delicate, and the act of speaking can be a great strain on them. They're comprised of two folds within your larynx, which are located at the top of your windpipe. When you speak or sing, these thin elastic bands come closer together and then further apart. The air that passes through this gap causes friction between the folds, which creates vibrations. Teaching uses our vocal cords in a way that's unique to teachers. It requires an excessive amount of talking in an environment where there's often background noise, like a classroom full of students asking questions and clamoring for attention. Vocal hygiene is important for a teacher. You should get enough sleep, eat healthy and balanced meals, exercise regularly, practice good oral hygiene, avoid bad habits like smoking or drinking alcohol, and maintain a healthy weight. Adjust your speaking volume. The first thing you need to do is adjust your speaking volume. You don't need to shout, but it's important to speak loud enough so everyone can hear you. Be aware of the acoustics in your classroom or auditorium when adjusting your volume, as certain environments will affect how far your voice travels. In general, make sure that whatever volume level makes sense for your throat is what comes out of it naturally during teaching sessions. Humidify the air in your workspace. A humidifier or vaporizer can help, especially during cold weather when heating systems dry out the air. Also, dry air can make you feel thirsty. Drink enough water when you speak. This is important because when they get dried out they can't vibrate as easily and you lose flexibility and vibrancy in your voice. Instead of downing an entire jug of water before you head on stage, just make sure to sip regularly throughout the day so that your vocal cords stay well hydrated. Avoid iced cold beverages in large amounts. When possible use a glass instead of drinking straight out of a bottle. A reusable glass one is best if you want something more environmentally friendly than plastic. Minimize irritants and bad behaviors on your voice. Coughing or throat clearing. Both of these behaviors can rob the voice of its ability to vibrate in its optimal range. Yelling and screaming. Because loud sounds put extra stress on the vocal cords, it's best to avoid them when possible. If you do need to talk loudly, take a few minutes to rest your voice between periods in order to give it time to recover. Stop smoking or using other tobacco products. If you are a smoker, stopping smoking can be beneficial to your health in numerous ways. The earlier you quit, the more likely it will be that your vocal folds will return to their normal state. Seek professional help, speech therapy and medical consultation. Speech therapy and medical consultation can help you resolve voice concerns that may have stemmed from vocal strain brought about by improper use of your voice. As a teacher, you have a responsibility to take care of your voice. Make sure you incorporate the following tips into your daily routine at school. Be well rested. You are more likely to injure your voice if you are tired. Drink enough water spread throughout the entire day. Humidify the air around you. Avoid caffeine and alcohol as these can dehydrate you and make it harder for your vocal cords to work properly. Avoid excessive throat clearing or coughing. Avoid yelling whenever possible. Have a healthy well-balanced diet. Consult a medical professional if you have a medical problem or worsening symptoms. If a problem does arise, remember not to panic. There are plenty of professionals who can help you troubleshoot and work toward a swift recovery. Thank you for watching. Visit www.scienceaplus.com for more science-related content.